paperless receipts and put away using handheld for warehousing. With receipts, the incoming document number doesn't need to be a warehouse receipt. It can be a purchase order number, a transfer number or a sales return order. If the warehouse receipt doesn't exist, it's automatically created. Here we have a list in NAV of purchase orders and in our warehouse we have just taken delivery of some items. Using the handheld device, the warehouse operative simply scans the barcode to get the purchase order number. Maybe from the vendor's dispatch notes or from a label on the goods. In the background, the system creates a warehouse receipt if one does not already exist. The user then scans the barcode of the first item being received. So here it's item 1100. And the system pulls through some information about outstanding quantity. We have received 200 pieces today, so they enter this and then post. If we look to the left, we can see the effect of this in NAV. If we refresh the PO, we can see quantity received is now 200. And if we go to the Navigate tab and then look at receipts, we can see one posted purchase receipt linked to this document. And if we choose to view it, we see the item and quantity that we just received. Back in the warehouse, to put these away, we simply scan an item number. The user does not need a document number and does not need to suggest a put away. This way we don't need a piece of paper with a document number on it and by not suggesting a put away, we avoid the user hunting around for the correct item. The user simply scans a box, pallet or item to find out where to put it. So the user goes into the menu of the handheld device, to the put away function and begins by going to the nearest item or pallet in the receiving area and scanning its barcode. In this case, it's item 1100. The system then pulls up the details of the outstanding quantity left to put away. There are 100 left to put away of this item, and this matches the quantity that the user has just counted, so the user enters 100. The system is suggesting the pick location to put them in, which is fine, so they move them there and then scan the label at the physical bin location to confirm where they are placing them. The user then checks the information on screen, and if it's all correct, posts to register the putaway. If we look on the left at nav and refresh the view, we can see that the putaway has now gone.